So in this video we're going to be using the Raspberry Pi and its GPIO headers to control a simple um, 2x16 LCD display. Um, I've got most of the information from this um, guy called Matt's um, blog, uh, raspberrypispy.co.uk, um, and all the circuit di diagrams came from there. So it's not my work, it's all his. Um, please go on there and uh, you know, obviously give him the credit. Um, so this is the basic circuit diagram that you have to build. Um, you're going to need some jumper wires like my previous GPIO video um, and you're going to need a breadboard and you're going to need um, about five or six different components. So these are the components that you um, are going to need. You're going to need the LCD display that's compatible with the software that's been written. You're going to require a um, transistor which will allow you to turn the display on and off. You're going to need um, two variable resistors which will allow you to control the contrast and the brightness of the text and also the um, brightness of the um, back display. And you're also going to need um, a couple of resistors just to protect the circuit and so on. So one of the first things you have to get hold of is obviously the parts you're going to need to try out this project. Um, the basic parts you're going to need are a breadboard and um, some jumper wires. I recommend you go to tandionline.co.uk. Um, delivery is like only a pound. I think the jumper wires are a couple of pounds and the breadboard is about 10 pounds. And these can obviously be used for any GPIO project you're trying to do on your Pi. Um, and obviously you can do more than just this LCD project with these. The parts you're going to need specifically for this LCD project are the ones I've got on screen here. So transistor, couple of resistors and um, two variable resistors and the LCD panel. Um, I found them a little bit tricky to get hold of so what I've done is I've ordered um, a bulk order of these and I'm going to put them up on eBay, um, look for the link in the description of the video and um, there should be uh, a few on there that you can go and buy from me for um, $9.99 with a free delivery. Okay so the first example we're going to run is going to be um, to get it to display text to the screen. Um, the first example, obviously, we have the ability to justify the text in the centre and then on the left and then on the right. And as it's displayed there is how we'll see it actually show up on the actual LCD panel. And then the next um, example we're going to see is the LCD display um, getting weather from Google's um, weather API and displaying three different locations and the locations of those, uh, the temperature of those three locations. Okay, so obviously you've got to get your breadboard and get it wired up as we see um, on the diagram. So you have your LCD display, um, you have a bunch of resistors, uh, that transistor that allows you to turn the um, display on and off, and the two variable resistors to change the lighting, light settings on the display all connected up to your Pi. With a simple uh, screwdriver, a small screwdriver, you can just change those variable resistors. Note that I've had to solder those wires into the um, LCD display. They can go on either side, but I've done them just that one side. Okay, so this is the code I've taken off of the Raspberry Pi Spy website. And um, first thing that you notice is it imports um, the Raspberry Pi GPIO um, interpreter. It's, uh, it's written in Python. Um, we're then going to map the uh, pins on the LCD panel to which pins on our GPIO headers we're using. Um, we then come down to the main programming block and we enable all of the uh, GPIO pins to be enabled and active. Um, and then we have three different blocks of text we're going to um, display. We've got a timer between each display of uh, three seconds that can obviously be altered very simply. And in between here we just change and type what we want to have. And the number afterwards uh, indicates what uh, text justification it's going to be. Two means centered, um, one means to the left, justified left, and three means justified right. Um, once that's displayed, it will hold the last um, block of text on the screen for 30 seconds, and then it will exit out of the um, application. So we run this. So we run this by going to our Raspberry Pi over SSH, um, and then we see in here I've got my two scripts. So I'm going to run the first one, which is a sudo uh, python lcd. And then we run that on the display, you'll see um, that first example. OK, 
Okay, so the second example is very, very similar. Um, I've done some work on it here with a friend of mine who's helped me out. First thing we do is we define um, the three locations of weather that we want to obtain into three variables which align uh, variables line one, three, and five, which are going to be out of the six lines in total we display to screen. These are the ones that will be um, on the top. Um, then what we do is I've added the following Python code to uh, the main script that we got from the other example. And uh, it talks to um, this site here, which is uh, google.com, and then it's their weather API. And then we put in the destination of where we're trying to go. So I've got um, the town's uh, new market in Soham in UK, and obviously London, um, obviously in the UK as well. Um, what this then does is it um, saves all this data into a variable. And then we go through with this simple um, statement, which will go through and will search for um, the temperatures. And it will store that temperature into um, a variable called temp1, which will then be stored to line two. So now here we have line one, um, and we're going to justify it centered. And again, we have the first location, second location, third location. OK, so one test we can do is if we take the, this uh, URL, and we open up a browser. Okay, so we come here and we type in um, that URL, and we can see here that it's going to extract uh, the data uh, that we're after, um, which is in, uh, in Celsius the temperature of London at the moment. So come back to our SSH session, and we look for um, the weather script. So I'm going to run a sudo python weather.lcd. It will talk to Google and try and get those three stats. Now, I've had this problem where, for some reason, it, it will fail to find certain temperatures. Um, it's not consistent. So if anyone can figure out why it's doing that and hopefully help um, correct my scripts, that would be great. Um, and as we do that, it will output that to the uh, screen here and also to the LCD display. So on the screen right now, you'll see two links. Um, the first one is to a document pack, which contains the two Python scripts. Also, the breadboard layout image with all the components marked up, making it nice and easy. Um, also, there's a link to the Raspberry Pi forum um, post I've um, opened up, which will allow people to exchange code ideas and discuss problems with this code or whatever, um, and maybe come up with some new ideas. Um, that's on the official Raspberry Pi forum, so that should be available once this video goes live. And also, don't forget to check out my eBay page if you want to buy the components off, um, off there, making it nice and easy for you to source the parts.